My name is David Phil, and I'm uh, a member of the Hadley Select Board. And I'm here with Chief Spanknable from the Fire Department and Chief Mason from the Police Department. And we're here to talk today about the new Community Emergency Notification and Alert System, which is known as Nixle. Uh, we're transitioning from our legacy system, Code Red, into a new text and email based system that has a variety of new capabilities. So, um, Chief Mason, why don't you talk a little bit about uh, how the system differs from Code Red and how you'll use the new system uh, as far as the police department goes. So, uh, as far as the police department goes, uh, we, as many people know, as you know, uh, we use Facebook uh, quite a bit to uh, push out as much information as we can. Um, some of the most effective ways that uh, we're finding on Facebook, though, is that um, it's, it's really best used for future events, so UMass graduations and things like that. Um, the more acute issues uh, or emergency situations, uh, we're not seeing uh, as effective viewing as, uh, as we would like. So this is why Nixle is, is really going to be a benefit to us because of the text capability of it. Um, we're going to have the ability to push out text messages with uh, emergency type information like road closures, uh, motor vehicle crashes, power lines down, flooding, uh, things of that nature more quickly and uh, more effectively and hopefully uh, more people will see it. So we do want to encourage uh, as many of you out there uh, as are interested to sign up for this program. And uh, we at the Police Department want to thank you for uh, kind of getting us uh, on this path uh, with Nixle. Um, we think it's going to be a great benefit to the town. And so just to be clear, the, uh, this new system has basically, you could consider it two tiers. One is an emergency notification system that uh, Chief Spanknable will talk a little bit about. Uh, the other one is more of an informational aspect. And the informational aspect is opt-in. So if you don't want to hear about um, you know, heavy traffic or a road closer due to construction, um, you won't be getting those text messages from the police department or from Park and Rec or one of those other organizations. But when we're talking about the uh, true emergency information, uh, I'll let you talk about Chief Spanknable from the emergency management perspective, um, how Nixle will be used. That's correct. So uh, again, Mike Spanknable, I'm also your emergency management director besides the, the fire chief. And as far as Code Red is concerned, which is a system that we're using now, it's similar, however, the co this new Nixle system, I think, is a, quite a bit more user-friendly and especially more user-friendly for the folks that actually have to implement the messages. And it does have some newer technology that I think will really speed up uh, situa situational awareness on our side. Um, and that's one of the biggest things as part of our emergency management. And as part of the, being the director, it's my job to conduct risk analysis throughout town. So we have specific hazards and potential infrastructure issues that we have to analyze uh, and make sure that we have a plan for it in the event of a man-made or natural disaster. <clears throat> so this system will allow us to actually get real-time information out utilizing our incident command system. And I was just going to go into that just briefly so that you have an idea of what we're going through behind the scenes because sometimes it might not seem quick enough, um, but there is a process to it and we are constantly preparing and planning for it. So this planning can include both emergency and non-emergency um, situations. So for example, the 350th celebration that we had, the parade, was all done utilizing the emergency management department as the lead agency and bringing together a unified command structure with police, fire, uh, state stakeholders, uh, such as mass emergency management, uh, surrounding communities, mutual aid resources, even the University of Massachusetts. All that was done through the emergency management department. So what happens is basically under the emergency management department, we utilize what's called the NIMS system. So it's a national incident management system. Again, we also use, use this for any type of non-emergency event. So for example, our asparagus festival we have coming up. We use the National Incident Management System and Incident Command System to manage that, that process as well. So we put an action plan together. We have processes in place if something should happen, a weather event. Uh, we have messages created if we have a, thunder, a thunderstorm coming through where we can get information out to the public on scene and then also use, using this Nexel system uh, would be an option to get that information out. Again, this, this ICS system, so the Incident Command System, 
So basically what we do is we set up a unified command structure in Hadley where all of us are at the table and all of us put together how we want to manage an incident. So as far as this, how this relates to Nexel, um, part of incident command and one of, the, one of the responsibilities is a public information officer. Currently that's David Nixon, the town administrator. So in the event of an incident, or if we have information coming in that there's potentially a storm coming into the community, uh, myself, uh, Mike Mason, the chair of the select board, and David Nixon would all meet, along with the DPW director, any other departments that we feel are applicable um, to that incident. And we would put together one unified message that we could then get out to the community as quickly as possible, giving you the most accurate weather. The other big part is the reason why Nixle is great is because we, it allows us to have both the non-emergent messages, which he's talking about for road closures, uh, if Park and Rec has an event. For my side, and as far as what we did with Code Red, is we only used our Code Red system for true emergencies. We know how much information everybody gets bombarded with every day, and sometimes folks tend to just shut the phone off if they're getting too much information. So the emergency management side will only be for true emergency information or information where Chief Mason, the, the select board, DPW director, or someone feels that it really needs to get out through an emergency situation. Code Red, very similar program. We're just, we're adding a, another whole layer to this. And again, yes, thank you very much, David, for bringing this forward. Sure. So uh, for the true emergency aspect of things, you're generally talking about an immediate threat to life or property, correct? That is correct. All right. And then so the informational side, uh, there may be <clears throat> fire department activity or emergency medical activity or some kind of weather event, but not necessarily an immediate threat. So that would go out through the opt-in side where people would have to sign up for alerts from the fire department, the police department, wherever, versus the emergency, the true emergency alert uh, aspect of the system does not require an opt-in and we have the ability to use reverse 911 calls uh, etc right correct so this actually acts as that reverse 911 that reverse 911 type of system that's what Nexel is the other powerful component which code red also had is if if we need to isolate an area so if we need to identify a specific part of the community that we need to get a message out to we also have that capability, which is very successful. So we had a water main break where we had to notify a specific part of town, which was across the street here on uh, Middle Street, where we needed to notify people that there was a boil or water boiling order and that their water supply would be down for a certain amount of time. That's the type of situation where we consider, consider it important enough that they need to know that information, but we can not send it out as one big mass notification. We can actually dial it down to the folks that are affected. So that's another really powerful part of the system. And so uh, an important aspect of the new system is that uh, there is a, a limited number of people that have the ability to send out messages. So there's accountability. Uh, the police chief, the fire chief, uh, department heads have the ability to send out information to their own specific groups. Uh, but hopefully cuts down on extraneous messages, uh, bombarding people with messages they don't want to get, um, and also tracks everything in the entire system. So if something was sent out that shouldn't have been, we can go right in the system and see where it came from. So uh, check the, uh, the town website. We'll have uh, emergency management updated, emergency management information there and how to sign up for Nixle in the very near future. Uh, just keep in mind, Code Red will be completely phased out in the near future. So uh, it's important that you do sign up for the new system. Um, and if you have any questions, you can contact the, the town hall or the uh, uh, fire chief or fire department um, uh, for questions about the emergency aspect of, of things. Um, or reach out to various uh, individuals in the town via social media. All right. Thank you. Thank you.